Hey everybody, this is Hunter Williams and ooh baby, do we have a good one today. So this is one of the more viewed videos on my old channel, which is everything you need to know about Melanotan 1. And I'm going to talk about why Melanotan 1 is my favorite peptide. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you are doing amazing wherever you are at in the world. Today's going to be everything you need to know about Melanotan 1 from its origins to its mechanisms, to its benefits, any side effects, and then obviously the dosages. And lastly, as a little bonus, we're gonna do the peptides you can stack it with. I'm also gonna give some of my personal experience today on Melanotan 1. So before I jump into everything, if you wanna know how to use Melanotan 1, like how much water to add to the vial, how much you pull out of the insulin syringe, blah, 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 all that good stuff, check out the peptide cheat sheet and download that. And I'm doing something new with my videos. I'm not going to share my screen, even though I've got my notes and everything right here to guide me. And I would love to hear your feedback. If you can let me know, whether you like this of me just talking on the camera like this, or you'd prefer to me or prefer for me to share my screen and walk through the notes as well. I can do either. It's just easier me easier for me from a video editing perspective to do this, to do it like this so I can crank out more content. And I know most people are just listening for the audio content of what I'm saying. So just let me know in your, you know, in the comments or whatever your feedback on that. So Without further ado, let's jump into Melanotan 1, why I love it so much and why it's such an amazing peptide. So let's do a little bit of history on Melanotan 1. So it was developed originally in the 1980s at the University of Arizona, and it was originally aimed to combat skin cancer by increasing melanin production. What we know about skin cancer now is that basically skin cancer is not caused from the sun. It is caused from burning from the sun. And if you have more melanin in your body, the chances that you will get skin cancer because you don't burn are much less. So the sun isn't bad. The sun is amazing. It's the life force generator for us. And when uh, we burn from the sun, the inflammatory response is usually what causes skin cancer, not the actual sun itself. But basically, um, it was created as a synthetic analog of uh, alpha MSH, what I, I believe is a uh, melanin stimulating hormone or melanocorticoid stimulating hormone. Uh, don't you know? crucify me on that. But um, basically, it was intended to like increase skin tantin without having to increase the amount of sun exposure that we have. Um, you know, obviously, too, like when we reduce skin damage, we reduce skin cancer risk. And they knew this in the 1980s, which is why they developed it. Um, but basically, we have this whole system in our body and our skin called the melanocortin receptor uh, complex and melanocortin receptor system. Um, and this is where melanotan 1 works really well. And I'm also going to talk about how melanotan 1 is different from melanotan 2. And I really think, don't quote me on this, but I think the tide is shifting and people knowing that melanotan 2 will make you look like an Oompa Loompa and is pretty useless unless you want you know, an erection for four hours, whereas Melanotan 1 gives you all the benefits, a better tan, and it doesn't have the side effects that Melanotan 2 has, at least in terms of giving people uh, very long erections, also known as preopasm. So um, basically, how does it work? So it mimics the natural hormone, which is uh, alpha MSH. It binds to melanocortin receptors in the skin. Then it stimulates melanin production and release. And this results in a darker skin tone, obviously, and a tanning effect. It provides a method for tanning without UV exposure. So basically, in my experience, when I use melanotan 1, because I use it all the time, I love it. Probably my favorite peptide. Uh, that's hard to say, but it's up there. It's in the top three for sure. Um, when I use melanotan 1, it's like I could go outside for 30 minutes and get the same benefit of being in the sun for five hours. So I get the tan of being in the sun for like 30 minutes that I would normally, it would take me five hours to get. And I'm not like, I tan pretty easy, but in the winter time, like right now it's winter where I'm at here in North Carolina, I do get a little bit more pale. Thankfully, I have like good skin complexion for my family. So I'm not like super pale. I've got dark skin, dark hair, dark eyes, you know, but um, in the wintertime, I do tend to get pale when I'm inside more, uh, and the sun's obviously further away, <sighs> but when I use melanotan one, it condenses down the amount of time that it takes me to tan. Uh, so like I, I get like four hours worth into 30 minutes. Um, it also provides a method for, um, photo protection against UV protection. It activates our body's natural defense mechanism, which prevents us from burning, then engages in the skin pigmentation process. And it also not as much, but in doing so, it potentially modifies libido and sexual function and represents a targeted approach to enhancing skin pigmentation. So basically this leads to better skin tanning without direct sun exposure, reduced risk of UV induced skin damage, uh, and 
huge, like this should be a banner because so many people are worried about this, especially with paler skin. It has been shown to lower the risk of developing skin cancer. So just think about that for a second. Throughout the last hundred years, humanity has been brainwashed into thinking that being in the sun is bad. Being in the sun is one of the most important things you can do. If you get deprived from the sun, if I get if it rains for three days, I get really sad. But if you get deprived from the sun, think about people that go to prison or work in office prisons all day. They are deprived from the sun and it makes you sad. Seasonal affective disorder is a real thing when you don't get sunlight. And the sun is amazing for us. But imagine, especially for people of lighter complexion, if you could take the sun and then have a peptide that is natural, that stimulates the body's ability to enhance the absorption of the sun without burning. It would be a miracle. If you could put that into a pill, you would be a trillionaire. Now, unfortunately, because this is a peptide, you have to inject it. But even still, it's one of the most like underrated, people just don't talk about it. And obviously, too, where it's the winter time right now, so people aren't you know outside you know at the beach or whatever. But um, <clears throat> obviously too, it can lead to a more uniform and lasting tan. So I'm just looking at my notes here. <laughs> I'm like thinking about my own experience. So I am like permanent, since I've been using Melantan one for a few years now, I have gotten permanently darker, even when I don't use Melantan, which I think is pretty cool because it gives you a very nice complexion. Melantan two comes and gives you like an orangey complexion, but Melantan one, I know I'm like, I've got like the lights on and I'm inside right now, but it gives you like a very nice tan complexion. Um, and it doesn't go away. So yeah, of course, like when I'm out in the summer and I'm tanning, I'm using my tan one, I'm gonna be like dark, but like in the wintertime, it, you kind of keep your tan, which is really cool. Um, then it also, uh, <clears throat> you know, can it, it also helps, this is one of the things that was developed for, because it serve as a preventative measure for skin health, meaning um, for a lot of people with, um, I forget the exact thing, but they can have like dark spots on their skin. Um, it can help heal from that. I don't, I'm not going to say it will do everything, but um, it can help with like splotchy skin and things like that. Now, when we look at the benefits, this is not going to be in the scientific literature, but Jay Campbell and I have obviously obviously decoded this, and obviously I learned it to him, so credit to him for teaching me all this. But basically, Melanotan 1, in the process of upregulating our ability to receive sunlight, does something very powerful. If we think about consciousness is light, the sun is light, so the sun is consciousness. And when we enhance our ability to receive light from the sun, we get more information. Now, this may sound cuckoo and woo-woo to you, and if that's okay because you can't really experience this for yourself until you do. But basically, we get information from the sun. The sunlight is information. When we enhance our ability to receive that information, we thereby get more information and quote unquote, become more spiritual, meaning that we become more in tune with the spirit beings that we already are because we are enhancing the body's ability to receive sunlight and receive meditations from God or source consciousness, universe, whatever you want to call it. So when we enhance the body's ability to do that through a peptide like Melanotan 1, you receive a quote unquote upgrade in consciousness, meaning you become less anxious, meaning you become more in tune. You become more in tune with nature. You don't want to spend your time on a computer all day. You don't want to spend your time inside all day. You want to be one with nature. You want to live the way that humans are meant to live and not as cattle on a farm. And so the skin tanning of Melantan 1 is amazing. If that other stuff's not for you, that's totally cool. But in the long-term use, in my experience, in the long-term use of Melantan 1, I feel much more connected with who the essence of my being is because I receive, call it more information from the sun because my body now has the ability to receive that light better, integrate it into my physical vessel, and then use it through the manifestation of my consciousness, my ideas, my words, my actions, my thoughts, all that good stuff. So without going too deep down the rabbit hole, Melantan 1 is basically like your like a direct way for you to receive more information from the sun. And it's not like you're not on drugs or anything like that. It's not like a psychedelic drug or anything like that. It's basically making you more of the spirit being that you already are because we have physical health, we have mental health, we have emotional health, we have spiritual health. And Melantan 1 enhances, I believe, your spiritual health through your ability to receive information from the sun. If that's too much for you, just think about seasonal affective disorder. You take sunlight away from a person, they become depressed. You give sunlight to a person, they become happy. You give someone the ability to receive sunlight more effectively without any of the side effects of burning and skin cancer, 
you now allow them to become more conscious, to become more in control of their actions and to become less anxious and more happy and all those things. So that is, in my experience, the biggest benefit of Melantan 1. I would say if you took the skin tanning out of it, I would still use the peptide for that purpose. So, But obviously, the skin tanning is part of it because if you enhance your ability to receive sunlight, you're going to be tan and you're going to feel better and you're going to look better and all that amazing stuff. So let's get to the side effects because this is one that does tend to have a little bit more side effects um, than others. Now, Melantan 2 causes terrible, 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 and yes, Melantan 2, not Melantan 1, causes terrible flushing, nausea, and like a very, very sick feeling in your stomach. If you take too much, you have to get the dose very right for melanotan two uh, in order to not experience side effects. But if you do, the side effects can be awful. Now, melanotan one, when you do take it, can cause a little bit of flushing, meaning that like your face will get red. If you've ever had a niacin flush, it's very similar to a niacin flush. So yes, melanotan two can cause you to have a niacin flush and get kind of splotchy and red. It tends to subside within five to 10 minutes, right? It usually happens right after the injection tends to subside. And if you take it on an empty stomach, like you should in the morning fasted, um, you will probably get that reaction. Now it may make you slightly nauseous for like five minutes, which is very similar to the feeling. If you ever take a multivitamin, so like a fat soluble multivitamin and you kind of get nauseous cause you don't eat anything after it. That's similar to the nauseous feeling you'll get from Lantan one. But in my experience, you can take bigger doses of it and you don't get that. And usually when you've been using it for a while, you notice it, but you know what it is and you don't really notice it, if that makes sense, because you're just like, oh, there's a little flushing, it goes away in five minutes, and you feel amazing the rest of the day. So that's really the only side effect. Um, some people report you know, the spontaneous erections with Melanotan 1. That's much more common in Melanotan 2. Um, and a, a question I get asked a lot is like, is this going to make my freckles and dark spots worse? I can't say I've heard some people say Melantan one does that in my experience. It hasn't. And again, I've got like darker moles and you know, like freckles. I don't, I don't want to like get like all up in the camera and weird you guys out, but, um, it can, you know, do that. But like in my experience, it hasn't. And, uh, in my experience, it also is like helped some of my acne that I've had and acne scars. So I really like that. But, um, you know, the biggest side effect, just be careful with the dosing when you're starting out. And that kind of leads me into the dosing. So what is the best dose to start? I believe on the peptide cheat sheet, I have uh, 500 micrograms. That may be even a, little, a lot for some people. I would like to start with 250 micrograms. Now, do you do that daily? It kind of depends. Now, if you're looking at Melanotan 1 from a maintenance dose, so let's talk about maintenance dose first. I would say 500 micrograms once per week, maybe twice per week. So like for me, I would do it like 500 micrograms Tuesday and Friday. And if you need to know how much water to add to the vial, how much to pull out of the insulin syringe, check out the peptide cheat sheet. It's on there for Melanotan 1. Um, but basically I would say 500 micrograms once or twice per week. A lot of times like in the summer, in the summer I do twice per week. In the winter time I do once per week. Now I'll do that for like eight weeks on and eight, eight weeks off. So like right now I'm not in a Melanotan cycle. Um, unless I'm going somewhere like I was in Mexico recently. So I, I took it a couple days there just to protect myself from the sun. Cause we're there closer to the, to the equator, even though it was, it was the winter time there and I needed protection from the sun. So, um, I would say 500 micrograms. Now, if you are sensitive or, you know, I'm a bigger guy. So if you're a woman or you're smaller, maybe start with 250 micrograms first, see how you feel. You might not notice anything, but then you can kind of go from there. Now, once you start to take it, you can kind of you can kind of go up, so you can go up in dosing to like one milligram, um, which would be you know obviously double the dose. But so like I'll give you the protocol. Like if I was that's the maintenance protocol. If I was going to the beach or something, and I've done this, and I've I've proved to myself. Now I can't say this for everybody. I've proved to myself that when I go to the beach, I do not need to use sunscreen. If I use one milligram per day of Melantan one, I cannot burn. I've been to the beach for ten hours in direct sunlight. Um, in Mexico, which is close to the equator, and I did not burn. I got a little red, but I did not burn in peel or anything like that. But basically, I would take one milligram per day. So say you're going to the beach for five days, get up first thing in the morning, take one milligram of Melantan 1, and just do that every single day at the beach. It will keep you from burning. But again, if you just need the maintenance notes, let's say 500 micrograms once or twice per week, two times per week if you're in the summertime and you're in an area where you get a lot of sun exposure, probably one times per week if you're in the wintertime. And then just kind of cycle that on and off. Um, you know, that's not, I'm not like super militant with my cycling with Melanotan 1. I kind of use it as needed. 
um, depending on, you know, where I'm at traveling and all that stuff. So, um, it's definitely one that I keep with me at all times. So I always keep some Lantan one stocked. I always keep some with me when I'm traveling, you know, especially if I'm going to an exotic location and things like that. Um, but for general purposes, starting dose 500 micrograms, kind of see how you respond from there. Now, what peptides can you stack with Melantan 1? You can stack a lot of peptides with Melantan 1. Now, in my experience, I like a growth hormone peptide with Melantan 1 just because if you are trying to get tan, look good on the beach and everything, a growth hormone peptide or growth hormone itself will do better. So you can use ipramorelin, you can use tesamorelin, you can use ipramorelin with CJC. Um, and that's going to help. The growth hormone peptide, it obviously helps with fat loss. It also gives you like a nice um, effect on your skin because the increase in growth hormone obviously helps with skin, hair, nails, all that stuff. So it just gives you like this youthful, nice, young, like soft, not soft, but like very uh, like like pleasant appearance, especially if you're a woman. Um, that's where you're, like a lot of women will notice like benefits with CJ, uh, Ipramrelin CJC or growth hormone itself. So you can use Ipramrelin or Tesamrelin to stack with Melantan 1. Um, I would say, you know, you could probably use, if you're like really looking, that would be for more of like the beauty side and you could use GHK. So I'd say Ipamorelin, Tesamorelin, GHK or Ipamorelin, CJC, Tesamorelin, GHK. Um, you could use any of those together just for like overall skin health with Melantan 1. Um, you could use like an, a topical version of GHK, especially if you're out in the sun because that's going to help with like wrinkles. And even if you feel like, oh, well, I don't burn, but I get wrinkles from the sun really bad, GHK can help prevent that too. I love topical, you know, formulations. You can check out, uh, Intera skincare for that. <clears throat> but, um, you know, you could use tesofensine. So tesofensine upregulates dopamine. So if you were looking at it from like the consciousness enhancement perspective, you could use tesofensine and I've used both of those together. I'm not using either of them right now and I still feel amazing. Uh, but you could use both of those together and get really, get really good results. So, um, I would say, you know, you know, use a growth hormone peptide, Use GHK, and then if you wanted to like upregulate some of like the energy and creativity you get, you can use tesofensine uh, together. So those would be the main peptides I'd stack it with. So um, overall, um, I can say also too, I'll throw this in there at the end because you know big questions like can are, are is, do women have the same response to peptides? Yes, melantan one is amazing for women. I wish I could gift more women with melantan one because I've had my girlfriend using it now for almost a year. And it's one of her favorite peptides. And uh, as it goes with most women in the world today, it's it's more rare to see a woman that doesn't have anxiety than one that does. Most Western women in the first world have anxiety. It's it's like by default now, which is really sad. But, uh, you know, and obviously that was something my girlfriend had dealt with in her past. And Melanitan 1, to her, she loves that it helps Tanner because she's a little bit fairer complexion. But... She loves it for the anti-anxiety benefit. So a lot of times, like, we love to go hiking together. We'll take some Lantan 1, especially if it's a really nice day outside, and go hiking. And, man, it feels amazing because you're, like, you can, like, feel the sunlight on your skin absorbing and just feeling really good. You don't feel like you're burning, but it just feels really good. Um, so she likes it for the, you know, anxiolytic effects, the anti-anxiety benefits of Lantan 1, which is because it's obviously, like, a allowing you to receive sunlight better. So she loves it for that. <clears throat> so I'll say like Melanitan one, I'll always use it. You know, if I can get it, limitless sells it. Now you just have to be in the VIP club, um, which I will not link to in this video, but, um, uh, yeah, for you, those of you, you know, me, you know what I'm talking about, but, uh, anyway, Melanitan one is amazing. So, uh, again, if you need help with like dosing, all that stuff, download the peptide cheat sheet, all that stuff's on there from Melanitan one. And, uh, let me know if you like this without the screen share up, um, if you, if I get a lot of comments, it's like, Hey, we really want the screen share up. I'll definitely go back and do that. But it's just easier for me to crank out more content, um, like this where I'm just doing the video. And I know most people just listen for the audio anyway. So appreciate you guys much love out there. And, uh, let me know if you have any questions about Melania 10 one below peace.